Let's look at this problem. Minimum lights to activate from interval bit. In this problem, we are given an array, and in that array, we are given some specific positions where the lights are placed. And if a light is placed at a particular position, it can light the position of the array from x minus b plus one to x plus b minus one. And we have to find the minimum number of lights that we need to activate so that the complete corridor is lighted. Or otherwise, we need to return a minus one if it cannot light the entire corridor. Now let's take a look at the example which is given in the question. So in this example, we are given b is equal to three. So if a light is placed at x position, it will light. The corridor from x minus two to x plus two. So if we are at this position and we we'll activate this light, it will light the corridor from zero to four. Now the steps that we need to follow is. That we traverse the array from left to right. And then at each position, uh, we will select the rightmost. Possible light source which can light the current position. And then jump. to the next unlighted position and repeat the same steps traverse to the, through this example to make things more clear so at the beginning we are at zero position and for this position we need to select the rightmost source which can light this position and the reason why we are doing that is because if we select the rightmost source it will cover as many positions to the right as possible and that will be good for the further positions because then we will get the minimum lights that are activated so for this position we can traverse in the range 0 to my, uh, 0 minus 2 To zero plus two, so for this position, we can go through this sub array, and since there is only one light source in this array, we select that and activate it. So we will depict it like this. This means that it is activated now. Now after activating this. we know that this source will light the sub array from these positions okay so 0 to 4 will be lighted if we light this light source now we directly jump to this position because it is unlighted and for this we again traverse this sub array x minus 2 to x plus 2 so x minus 2 will be this position and for this we need to consider this array so this is a light source then this is a light source but the rightmost light source which can be activated is this one so we just activate this light source and now since this light source is activated it will light these positions in the array and now since all the positions of the array are lighted we are done with our solution
now let's try to code the solution so let us take a boolean variable bool is possible and we initialize it to 1 which means that we are considering that it is possible to light the entire corridor and then we'll take another variable to count the number of lights that we need to activate initially it will be 0 now we will we'll traverse the array now for each position we traverse all the possible positions that can light the current position that is ith position Since we do not want to go below 0, we are doing max of 0 and i minus b plus 1. and we do not want to go over the size of the array so we are doing this now since i have taken a long long uh, let me also typecast it to long long so this becomes a long long and this size also becomes a long long and for each position we will take another variable which is light source it will be minus 1 initially considering that we cannot light the current position and if we find such a light that can light the current ith position that is a of j then we simply replace light source to be that position now since we want the rightmost light it will definitely override the left lights that are activated so now we need to check if light source is still minus 1 which means that we cannot light the current position in that case we write is possible to be 0 and we break the execution otherwise we increment the number of lights that we need to activate and then we need to go to the next position that is unlighted so i will be light source plus b and finally we just need to check if is possible
return lights it was lights right yes it was lights so else return minus one that's it thanks for watching and please do remember to convert this long run to n12 submitting the answer